If you're an unvaccinated traveller and you want to come to Thailand but you're not sure about what the entry requirements are, then this is the video for you. I've made a lot of videos in the past which are going to be very similar to this, however they were specifically for vaccinated travellers and I know that some of you unvaccinated travellers must be feeling a little left out because I've not made this video specifically for unvaccinated travellers but you are in luck because today is going to be a video for you. Pre-departure checklist. Let's talk through all the things that you need to do before coming to Thailand. So the first thing is a visa. If you want to come to Thailand for 60 days, for example, you can apply for the standard tourist visa. However, if you come into Thailand only for a short amount of time, which is less than 30 days, you will not need to sort a visa out because when you arrive in Thailand, you'll get given a visa on arrival, which grants you 30 days in Thailand, absolutely free. A little note on these visa on arrivals, you can extend them once you're in Thailand. So if you think that you're gonna be in Thailand just for two weeks and then you think, oh no, I wanna stay a bit longer, you can actually currently extend them with the COVID extension. However, I wanna just put out there that these COVID extensions are meant to be scrapped on the 25th of March, but they have been saying this for a long time. So whether they're gonna be or not, I'm not sure, but it's something to bear in mind. Maybe it's just a safer option to get the tourist visa before you come, if you think you're gonna stay longer than 30 days. Next is your flight. Depending on where you wanna quarantine in Thailand will depend on where you fly to in Thailand, obviously. So if you're gonna get a return flight, absolutely fine. If you're gonna get just a one-way flight to Thailand, then in my case, I was asked to show proof of exit of Thailand within 30 days because I didn't have a visa. I planned to get the visa on arrival, so they asked for my exit ticket. If this is something you're gonna do, I would highly recommend to book either a ticket to Cambodia, Singapore, somewhere close by that's super cheap, and just book the ticket. It's like 20, 30 quid maybe. And obviously you're not gonna use this ticket. You'll just need the ticket to show that you have proof of exit from Thailand. The next thing you need to do is book your alternative quarantine hotel. Here's the list of provinces that you can choose from. And you'll need to book this hotel for 10 days. So two websites that I highly recommend you to check are Agoda and also asq.in.th. Just bear in mind that with Agoda, the prices on there often just show the price of the room. It doesn't include airport pickup and PCR tests that you'll need to take twice whilst you're in quarantine. So you will need to contact the hotels directly to get that PCR test airport pickup package. So just bear in mind that the price will often be higher than what you see on Agoda. However, asq.in.th is a really good website because it includes full packages. So it'll include your two PCR tests and your airport pickup. Alternatively, you can just contact the hotels directly. They will reply to you with their packages and you can just book through them. Regarding the PCR tests that you'll have to take whilst you're in quarantine, your first PCR test will be done when you immediately arrive at the hotel and then the second PCR test will be done on day nine of quarantine, ready for day 10 and then you leave. Okay, the next thing that you need to sort and book is your insurance, your health insurance to come to Thailand. So the insurance rules in Thailand have changed recently, you'll be glad to know. You now need to buy health insurance, which covers you for COVID and hospitalization, and it needs to cover you for 20,000 USD. It used to be 50,000, now it's only 20,000. There is loads of different insurance providers that you can go for that will cover you for this. However, one that I use and one that I recommend for my clients is Mr. Pracken. If you're interested in Mr. Pracken, I have a link in the description box. Just to know it'll cost you nothing extra to use my link, I just make a little commission off it. So feel free to use that. Okay, so you've sorted your visa if needed, you've sorted your flight, you've sorted your hotel, you've sorted your insurance. The next thing to do is apply for the good old Thailand Pass. Before we get into the Thailand Pass application process, I'm gonna tell you a few things that you will need to do before you apply. So a couple of things that you'll need at hand are your flight, so you'll need to know your flight number, you also need your hotel confirmation letter. So once you've booked and paid for your AQ hotel, they should reply to you with a letter which states all your details, it states the date of your stay, it states that they have airport pickup and two PCR tests included, and it will state that you've paid. So this confirmation letter, you need to save it. You need to save it as a JPEG format, and I would highly recommend to save it in a folder on your desktop because it's gonna be super easy when applying for Thailand Pass. The next thing you'll need is your insurance certificate as well. When you've booked your insurance through Mr. Pracken, AXA, whoever you decide to choose, they will email you with a contract of the insurance and within that contract will be a letter that you can use to upload to the 
Thailand Pass application. So this insurance certificate will have your name, it will have everything that it covers you for and make sure that it includes that it covers more than 20 thousand USD. Again with this insurance certificate make sure it's in JPEG format and save it on your folder in your desktop. Okay and the last thing that you'll need before applying for Thailand Pass is a picture of your passport. You simply need a square picture of your passport only the information page. Make sure there's no blurs, no shadows, it's just a clear image of your passport. Okay so here goes the all important Thailand pass. Let's jump onto the computer. You want to make sure that you come on the one and only website that there is to register for your Thailand pass. This is the official website, tp.consular.go.th. Scroll down and select non-Thai nationals if you are not from Thailand. Here you'll see the three different types of programs that there are to enter Thailand. Test and go is for vaccinated. Blue zone sandbox program is for vaccinated. Alternative quarantine is for you unvaccinated people. Here you'll see all the conditions that are required to enter on this program. Once you've read and confirmed, select select. Here are some statements that you'll just need to read through and once you confirm, select this little box here and press confirm. The first page will be purpose of travel. For most of us, it'll be for travel. Country of departure, so the country that you're currently in right now, for example, UK. First arrival port in Thailand, for example, Bangkok. There's a list of all the different airports you can go to here. Your flight number to Thailand. So just make sure that it is the flight to Thailand. So if you're doing a transit, for example, from Singapore, then it will be the flight number from Singapore to Bangkok. Date of arrival and your estimated date of departure from Thailand. Once you've done that, select register. Some more things that you need to agree to. Once you do, select confirm. The first page will be for your personal information. It's pretty straightforward. Your nationality, so I am British. Date of birth, I'm definitely not that old, but that's just an example. <laughs> an email address. So make sure that you use an email address that is not Outlook or Hotmail. These are just two that the Thailand Pass website does not like and your occupation, for example, police officer. <laughs> Next, you'll need to upload your passport photo. As I said before, just this beautiful square image of your passport information page. Type of passport is ordinary, your passport number. Once you've uploaded your passport in JPEG format, you'll see that it's this little gray box here with a tick next to it. Make sure that you see this before continuing because this means you have successfully uploaded the file. Once you've done this, select next. The next page is vaccination information. Obviously you're unvaccinated so you can completely skip this part and select next. The next page will be booking accommodation information. So it will be an alternative quarantine hotel, whichever province you have booked in. So because I selected that I was flying into Bangkok, then I have these two provinces here to choose from. Wherever else in Thailand you decided to fly to, you will have different options here. Just make sure that wherever your hotel is, you check which province it's in. Then you'll select your accommodation name. Here are a list of all the approved alternative quarantine hotels in Bangkok. So just select yours from the list available here. Your booking ID. So once you have received your hotel confirmation information, this should include your booking ID number. Duration of stay, so when you check in and the date that you check out should be 10 days later. RT-PCR test, completely ignore this step, it only applies for the sandbox. And this is where you need to upload document of booking accommodation. So like I was saying, that hotel confirmation letter, this is where you upload that. The next part, you need to add your address outside of Thailand. So wherever you reside, the current address that you're in or use, input that here. You'll also need to put your overseas mobile address. Next, you'll need to import your emergency contact details, the name and number of your emergency contact. Once that's done, select next. And the last page is medical insurance and additional documents. So you'll need to input your insurance policy number here. Here it says a medical coverage over 50,000 USD. That is because today is the 25th of February. This should be updated from the 1st of March to 20,000 USD. So if it does, then select yes. And the insurance covers you for your total duration in Thailand, select yes. Select the date which your cover starts and then upload your medical insurance document here. So your insurance certificate. 
click the box if you agree with everything that is stated here regarding your insurance. If you have visited any other countries within two weeks before arriving in Thailand, then you will need to add the country to the list here. People often ask me whether they need to input the country that they're transiting in. This doesn't need to be added here, just any countries that you've like been on holiday to in the past two weeks. Then here is a little additional document section. So if you have, for example, had a change of name, then you can input your name change registration certificate here or any other documents that you think are relevant to upload. If there's nothing, completely ignore this step and select next. On the final page, it'll just give you an overview of all the details that you've submitted. If everything is perfectly fine, click submit. So a few things you need to make sure you do before you board your flight to Thailand. Make sure you've printed out all your documents. Your Thailand pass, your insurance, your hotel, your visa, everything. Just make sure you print out everything. It'll make your life 10 times easier. And also, of course, the all important PCR test. So you need an RT-PCR test done within 72 hours before departure. So in your home country, book a test, have it done, within 72 hours. I hope that all made sense and that was all clear. If you have any questions, do feel free to drop them down below. Like I said, if it's all just a bit overwhelming, you need any, any help at all with flights, hotels, Thailand Pass, anything at all, you can use my services. Like I said before, there's a link in the description box below. Fill the form out and I'll get back to you. I just wanna also include that I receive so, so many messages on a daily basis. People emailing me, people messaging me on Instagram, and I really, really do try my best to help everyone. But I do only have so many hours in a day, so I can't reply to everyone. So please appreciate that I may not always get back to your questions, but if you do have something super important, or you want my advice one-to-one, -one, then you can book in a call with me. I do have a link in the description box to book in a call with me. And that is it, guys. I hope that this has been super helpful for you unvaccinated travelers. Cue the COVID police. There might be people on here that are like, you shouldn't be traveling whilst unvaccinated. Sorry, but I've been traveling for the past year unvaccinated. It is what it is. If it was illegal, we wouldn't be allowed to do it. But we have, we've followed all the rules. We've done everything fine and it's been good. So, I would say if you're unvaccinated, there's the opportunity to come to Thailand. It's 10 day quarantine. Yes, there are rumors that it's gonna be reduced to five. Not sure. I'll keep an eye on that. Fingers crossed that it does get reduced to five. Um, but there you are. It's 100% worth it. I'm having a great time. I love it. If you did find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more of my vlogs and more updates on Thailand. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. Sawadee